The Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia. This is our 9 p.m. update, our 9 p.m. Bangkok time update. Hopefully you guys are having a great day out there. Woohoo! Dogecoin in the house. This is the OG, the crypto OG in the house, guys. Coming to you. This will be our final uh, video of the day. Guys, uh, yeah, today's been kind of a strange day for Doge. It's just been kind of going sideways most of the day. Uh, you know, it hasn't really gone down. It hasn't really gone up. So we're going to talk about that. Also, uh, the other the other news that we're going to talk about is, uh, you know, Tesla has uh, lost uh, about $100 million of value when it comes to Bitcoin. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk a little bit about uh, Binance and their regulatory issues right now and how that's going to impact uh, their exchange. And then we're going to look at the uh, daily crypto trade signals portfolio in the house and see how we're performing. And guys, you're going to be really surprised at how well we're actually performing. So hopefully you guys have, uh, you know, copied that. And remember, all of this in this video is not financial advice. This is me just expressing my opinions. And remember, guys, a couple of things. You need to do your own risk management. You need to absolutely do your own risk management. This is not financial advice. And you guys have to also understand that predictions, the crypto market is very, very volatile. And predictions can change in an instant based on, you know, breaking news, some incident or something like that, guys. So remember, all the predictions here are only as good as the news cycle, the narrative, and TA only works until it doesn't, and TA is only an indicator of possible outcomes. So if I could predict 100% with 100% accuracy all the time, I would be a gazillion billionaire, guys. So just remember, none of this is financial advice. You have to do your own research. Uh, this is all about giving you guys the latest news, telling you about trends and telling you where I think things could go. All right, guys, and remember, watch out for scammers in the uh, contents. They pretend to be me. They use my logo and I ask you to contact them uh, through WhatsApp. I'm never going to do that, guys. So let's jump into it, guys. Let's jump into the markets right now. So you can see right now the uh, overall market cap is uh, is around about uh, 4.8 uh, trillion and that's up 2.42%. Uh, so we've done pretty good, guys, in terms of the total uh, market cap. We're seeing some positive uh, territory uh, pretty soon. I think all day, basically. I think we're going to hit probably, uh, you know, 1.5, 1.2 trillion tomorrow. So that's going to be really good. The uh, volumes are the volumes are really doing good, guys. Uh, let me just refresh that because we just had a change. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, the volumes the volumes are doing pretty good, guys. Uh, the volumes are still up at 4.3, 4.5%. Uh, today, earlier today, they were they were as high as uh, almost 20%. So that's really good. And uh, the Bitcoin dominance is coming down. And then if we look at our gainers and losers, uh, you're seeing that the majority of uh, the uh, crypto space is in green. And then we have uh, a small percentage is in red, guys. So let's take a look at the, the big gainers right now. We got AXS. We got uh, KuCoin token. This is an exchange token. That's uh, that's up uh, 24%. Uh, the one Harmony One is up uh, 19%, guys. So that's really good because if you look at uh, daily crypto trade signals, our portfolio, we do have Harmony uh, in our portfolio. And we look and if we look at uh, if, if we look at Harmony, it's up 20% here. And if we look at the performance of Harmony in our portfolio, you will see. That we're up, uh, we're up 34%, uh, guys. So we're up about 60. We're up 34% since we started this portfolio. So we'll get into that more. But just to let you know that, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good when it comes to, uh, you know, our portfolio is, is outperforming the market right now. So that's very good. Keep is up. Mana's up. KSM is up. And then our biggest losers here are Comp, SNX, Maker, Titan, uh, Ave. And uh, ship Shiba Coin is down, Sushi is down, and KLV. So, yeah, those are the the, the biggest gainers and losers. Let's jump into the uh, markets, guys. Let's jump into the markets. All right, guys. So BTC right now is trading at thirty four thousand seven hundred thirty dollars, and that's up uh, one dollar one point two one one point three five percent. It just jumped up, so that's good. And uh, BTC has been pretty much re range bound all day. 
Uh, it's been ranging between uh, 33,649 and 35,040. And you know, we keep getting rejected. We keep bouncing up to 35,000 and we keep cons consistently getting rejected all the time. So that's that's not good. We need to, Bitcoin really needs to break out, guys. That's really important. Uh, Ethereum is up 2.26% and that's uh, trading at $2,382. BNB is up 6.46%, uh, and that's uh, $335. Uh, ADA is basic, basically the same like Doge today. It's pretty much flatline. It's trading at 1.43, and that's up uh, not even half a percent. And then Doge, which is in the seventh spot, guys, Doge is at 23.4539, and that's uh, you know just, just slightly in the green right now. So, you know, as you can see from the chart here, the Doge chart, let me get my face out of the way. Woohoo! So you can see right here that uh, the Doge today, it's been trading pretty much uh, sideways all day. We do have a, a, a bullish buy indicator here. Let me zoom that up for you so you can take a better look at that. And uh, yeah, so, but you know, Doge has just been kind of going sideways for a couple of days and kind of following uh, Bitcoin's range reboundness. So as I said, Bitcoin is trading between 33.6 and 35,000 and we really need to see uh, Bitcoin break out before we see Doge make any moves. And then here you can see our blue line here. This is our 50 day moving average here. We really need to see Dogecoin to start to break up past that before we're going to see Doge actually uh, go back up to 25 cents. This is our uh, this is our 200 day moving average. So Doge has a lot of room to go before we can start seeing uh, any kind of uh, upward trend to 25 cents. So this is a big resistance level right now. So we really need to, uh, you know, get moving. And uh, Doge is not going to move, guys, until we see Bitcoin move. That's a fact. This is a simple, uh, it's a fact of the market, guys. Right now, Doge is very much tied to Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin doesn't move, Doge is not going to move. And Doge is just going to make... Uh, you know the same kind of measured move as uh, as uh, Bitcoin. All right, plus or plus or minus a couple percent. So we really need uh, once again Dogecoin to get moving, guys. So here's a big breaking story right now. Let me get my face out of the way. Uh, right now, Tesla and and this story is uh, this story is pretty recent. It's quite breaking. Tesla facing up to a hundred million dollar Bitcoin in impairment losses in Q2 amidst crypto price slump. So as you know, right now, Bitcoin's recent dramatic sell-off could trigger a $100 million impairment loss in Tesla's Q2 financial records. So as you know, after BTC dropped, dropped from all-time high of 64.8 and it went as low as 29, now, now we're trading, as you, you guys saw earlier, uh, between uh, 33 and 35,000. So based on the accounting price, Tesla will, what Tesla's going to face is known as impairment charge. Tesla holds crypto as an intangible asset on its books right now. And according to accounting rules, when Bitcoin value drops below a certain amount, companies have to mark it down, uh, have to mark that down in their, their financial statements. So I believe that the uh, threshold uh, for uh, Bitcoin uh, for Tesla on the books is anything below 35,000, they're going to have to report that as a loss. So analysts have been uh, taking a look at uh, looking for between 25 and 100 million loss for Tesla on paper in the next quarter. So in, as you guys know, in February, Tesla made headlines after announcing the company would invest 1.5 billion into Bitcoin uh, to, hold, you know, to hold on the company balance sheet and plan to accept uh, BTC in the form of payment for electronic cars. Now, you know that uh, uh, when it comes to accepting payment, I think, uh, do, I think uh, Tesla is gonna make that announcement very really soon because you know, Elon Musk, he did say once the crypto miners uh, can get their uh, fossil fuel usage down and uh, that they're going to be using 50% renewable energy, then Tesla would consider uh, accepting Bitcoin again. And the recent uh, reports that came out from the mining consortium is that right now, 56% uh, of all the energy used by miners is renewable. So they're past that 50, 50 uh, cent threshold. So you know, we're all sitting back and waiting for Tesla to make that announcement that they're going to accept Bitcoin uh, again. So I'm hoping I'm hoping it's going to come soon. I don't know when. I cannot predict that. 
But uh, if it does, if, if, if that announcement does come out, it should have a positive impact on the crypto space. And hopefully we'll see uh, Bitcoin move up and the other old coins move up when Tesla makes that announcement. But the report that came from the uh, mining consortium is, and I quote, that 56% of all their energy being used for mining right now is renewable. That's in the latest report uh, that came out uh, about three days ago. And I did talk about that in a previous video. So go back and watch my other videos and you'll see that uh, there. So we could be expecting an announcement soon. I don't know exactly when, but we could be expecting that announcement really soon, guys. So the other news that's happening right now is, uh, as you know, Binance has been under a lot of uh, regulatory scrutiny right now from the UK, Cayman Islands, uh, Japan. Uh, so, and you know, Binance CEO ZZ responds to global regulatory pressure calling compliance a journey. And you know, th this is not the first time that uh, Binance has been under fire uh, and seeing uh, wider pressure uh, from regulator regulators to have more and more uh, scrutiny on the Binance platform. So he's saying we're seeing a wider adoption of cryptocurrency globally and the need for clear regulation frameworks in different countries. So, you know, this, this kind of proves the fact that I've always been talking about when you see more countries, uh, you know, screaming at big platforms like Binance and, you know, saying they want more regulation, this and that, then you know that the crypto adaptation and the crypto is becoming more mainstream and this is evident you know uh, i think this year in in this bull run that's not over and this bull run is not over till the end of the year you know we're in a kind of like a, a micro cycle a micro bear cycle within a, a bull cycle right now but uh, you know if you zoom out from this story this is really a positive note because if more regulators are looking at it it means that crypto is becoming more widely adopted more talked about and this ultimately will push prices higher and higher in the future so i think this is overall good news uh i mean it's, i mean in the short period of time the narrative is this bad news for for binance and and other uh other exchanges because a, a, a lot of other exchanges right now are increasing their kyc uh requirements so you're going to see that you know uh if you are part of an exchange now they may ask you to complete additional KYC. I mean, I had that happen to me on Swissborg only about a week ago. I think I, I talked about that in one of my videos. I transferred from my Celsius wallet to uh, Swissborg about uh, $50,000 worth of uh, Ethereum. And, you know, I got, uh, I got my transfer got frozen and I had to go through this whole KYC, had to uh, provide... Uh, proof of source of funds, had to go back to Celsius. They had to give me official documents saying, you know, where it came from and I had to go back to my bank and prove that I had, uh, you know, bought this uh, Ethereum on uh, Luno Exchange and that I sent it from Luno to Celsius and sent it from Celsius to Swissborg. So, you know, the regulations are tightening up, guys. And you know that, uh, you know, Barclays has recently uh, said that they're not allowing any more transfers and uh, all the SEPA payments, Euro SEPA payments have been stopped by Binance. So you're seeing more and more regulations uh, happening in the space right now. And, you know, as I've always said, I don't think we need more people telling us how we can spend our money. Uh, you know, I think most of us are adults and mature enough we can make these decisions for ourselves. And if you look at the percentage of bad actors versus non-bad actors, you know, it's less than 10%, guys. So, yeah, there's always going to be big bad actors out there. They're always going to be one step ahead of the game. And if we come out with a smarter mousetrap, you know, they're going to they're gonna figure a way how to uh, circumvent that mousetrap or regulations anyways. And, uh, you know, and that's just the way the cycle goes, right? As the criminals uh, get smarter, the regulations get tighter, but then they find a loophole and, and the cycle goes on and on and on, right, guys? So yeah, Binance is under a lot of pressure right now in terms of regulation, but so far, uh, all the exchanges are working normal. I mean, I'm on Binance, my exchange is working normally. I still can buy and sell and transfer. And you know, there's a lot of other ways to get you know money into, uh, into exchanges. There's a lot of third parties that allow you to do that. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much. This is just a cycle that we're going through right now. And this is just 
Uh, the regulatory compliance is going to be increasing, a lot of more regulations, like I said. But this is a good thing. If you if you zoom out, this means that a more wider, wider adoption for, for crypto. So, guys, let's jump into our daily crypto trade signals uh, portfolio right now. And you guys can see that, uh, you know, let me just give this a bit of a refresh. There we go. Yeah, Internet's kind of, kind of wonky right now. So, you guys can see that we invested a total of $5,000 in our portfolio. Uh, I think it was around about four days ago now. And right now, our portfolio value is 5394 uh, 5, So good, right now, guys, we're up uh, almost 400 bucks, And uh, you can see that we're up 7.83% uh, right now. And, you know, let's just do a deeper dive into our portfolio. And these are, these are the coins that we're holding in the portfolio right now. We got Bitcoin. We have Ethereum. We have VeChain. We have Dogecoin. We've got Harmony in there. We've got Polygon. We've got Binance in there, a Swiss Bork, we've got Polkadot, Algorand, uh, Crypto.com coin, Cardano, Aave, and a little bit of Tether. You know, we keep a lot, we keep a little bit of Tether on the sidelines. That way it allows us to, to buy the dips. So you can see that, uh, you know, in the, in the last seven days, our portfolio has been performing pretty good, guys. Pretty good. And, uh, you know, uh, we're outperforming the market right now. So that's that's really that's really good. And you can see right now that, uh, you know, in terms of our percentage of holdings, uh, Bitcoin is 20, 28.9%. Let me just zoom that up for you guys so you can see it. So Bitcoin is at 28.9%. Uh, Ethereum is 24.9%. Doge is 5.3%. Uh, Polygon is 49 uh, uh, VeChain is 6%. Uh, Cardano is 4%. Uh, Polkadot is 4% and the rest of them are also 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4 and Aave is 3%, guys. So, you know, some people ask, oh, uh, Daryl, the OG, why you don't have uh, uh, everything in Dogecoin? Well, you know, I, I often talk about the 50, 25, 25 rule. Uh, you want to have 50% uh, Bitcoin, 25% uh, in Ethereum, and the, the balance of 25% in uh in uh, other other uh, top 50 projects so in this in in this portfolio we are a little bit moved away from the 50 25 25 rule i mean ethereum complies with my 25 rule but we just wanted to diversify and because we only uh, had five thousand dollars we kind of had to spread it out a little bit but from my perspective this is a pretty solid uh, portfolio and i believe that uh you know by the end of the year i think we can 2x this portfolio and uh we uh, can probably finish the end of the year with this uh, portfolio between ten and fifteen thousand dollars, maybe even four exit. I'm hoping that we can do that, but let's see. And you know, the main premise of this portfolio is we're not going to be doing day trading, we're not going to be swing trading, we're basically going to be hodling. And later, one of the things I'm going to teach you how to do with this portfolio remember, none of this is financial advice is how and when to take profits okay so we're not at that stage where we can take profits yet i mean normally i start to take profits when we have doubled so if i invest a thousand dollars in bitcoin and now when the value is worth a thousand i will often take out my original amount that i invested take that out and buy other coins so we're not there yet so we're not we're not ready to take profit yet but you know overall we're looking we're looking pretty fantastic guys so guys, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying our daily updates of our portfolio and hopefully you're enjoying the information that's in this channel because this channel tries to do a couple of things. One, we try to present you with the latest and breaking news. We, we try to talk to you about uh, some of the trends. Uh, of course, we're going to talk about Doge, where it's going to go because my Doge army, my Doge tribe, this is really important to me and it's close to my heart because Doge is not only a cryptocurrency, it's also about spreading love, guys, and that's what we want to do here. So this channel is about the news, it's about the markets, it's about Doge, and it's also about education and teaching you guys how to build a portfolio, how to hodl a portfolio, how to dollar cost average, and when to take profits. So that's what we're all about, guys. So if you like this channel, please smash the likes, guys. Do appreciate you guys watching and watching to the end. Please subscribe right now, guys. Check out my links below. I've got merchandise, t-shirts, hats, and stuff. Uh, support the channel by a channel of coffee. And guys, be blessed, be safe. Uh, you know, try to be more positive, spread some more love. You know, nothing is perfect. 
Nobody's perfect, but we all try our best. You know, spread a little love, spread a little positivity, guys. Go with God, everyone. Be blessed. I love you guys. See you in the next one, guys. Woohoo! Dogecoin to the moon, guys.